Hello everyone! Welcome again to another lesson in Statistics and Probability. In this lesson, you will learn how to define the sampling distribution of the sample mean for normal population when the variance is known or unknown. After going through this lesson, you're expected to first determine whether the population variance is known or unknown and identify the statistical techniques to be used when the variance is known or unknown. Recall that the formula for population variance is given as the summation of the square of the difference between x and the population mean divided by the capital N or the population size N. Take note that in order for us to solve for the population variance, we need the population mean, the elements of the population or the observation x, and of course the population size n. Remember that when population variance is known, we have the following points to remember. The population has a mean, which is the population mean, and variance, which is the population variance. The distribution of the sample mean is at least approximately normal, and the standard error of the mean is is given by this formula which is the standard deviation of the sample mean is equal to the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size n. To determine the probability of a certain event, we can use the z-distribution that is simply transforming the mean of the sample data to an approximately normal variable c using the relation z is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean divided by the standard error of the mean, which is the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size n. Take note that Z distribution is best applied for large sample sizes, which is n is greater than or equal to 30. When the population variance is unknown, Remember that the standard error of the mean is given by this formula, which is sample standard deviation divided by the square root of sample size n. To estimate the population parameters, we can use the t distribution by using the formula t is equal to sample mean minus the population mean divided by the standard error of the mean for unknown population variance, which is sample standard deviation divided by the square root of sample size n. Remember that we use the t distribution for small sample size, say n is less than 30. This time, we will try to identify in the following situations whether the following statements have a known or unknown population variance. We will also identify We will also identify the formula to be used to estimate the standard error of the mean by writing this symbol when the population variance is known and this symbol when the population variance is unknown. For one situation we have here you consider a population consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Samples of size 2 are drawn from this population. So for us to, uh, to identify if the population variance is known or unknown, let us first check the given in the situation. So we have here the elements of the population which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we also have here the sample size of Remember that in order for us to solve the population variance, we need the population mean and the population size n. Now, since even though the population variance is not stated here, we can solve the population variance by simply first finding the, or solving the mean, which is adding all elements like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and dividing it by 5 because there are 5 elements in this population. 
Therefore, we can identify the population mean. And also, the population size is given, which are, there are five elements of this population. Therefore, the population variance is known. Take note that if the population variance is known, the for standard error formula to be used is given by this formula. Next situation, we have here given the population mean of 20, sample standard deviation of 6, and the sample size of 15. Uh, let us check the given. Remember that in solving for the population variance, we need the population mean and the population size n. Although the population mean is given, the population size n is not given. We only have the, small, the sample size n, which is 15. Therefore, it is impossible for us to solve for the population variance. In this situation, the variance is unknown and the standard error formula to be used is given by this formula. Situation number 3. Test scores are normally distributed with standard deviation of 12 points. You wish to determine that the mean test scores of all students in Masaya National High School by taking a random sample of 18 students. So to, to determine whether the variance is known or unknown, let us check first the given. So here we have this the population standard deviation which is equal to 12 points. We also have the sample size of 18 students. Although the population variance is not even, even the population mean and the population size, but we have here the population standard deviation. Take note that if the standard deviation is given, we can solve for the population variance by simply squaring this standard deviation. So if the standard deviation is 12, the square of 12 is 144, therefore the population variance is 144. Therefore, the population variance here is known. And if the population variance is known, the standard error formula for this situation is given by this formula. Next, we have here situation number four. The general weighted average or GWA of the grade seven applicants for admission in LNHS over the past seven years has been consistently the population mean equal to 91.88. This year, a sample of data, the sample data of the applicants GWA or 96, 19, 92, 93, 96, 95, 91, 92, 90, and 93. So to determine whether the variance is known or, un or unknown, let us check the given. So here we have the population mean of 91.88. We also have the sample size, which, or, which is 10, since we have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 sample data here and also we can solve for the sample mean. But take note, in order for us to solve for the population variance, we need the population mean and the population size. Since the population size is not given, so it's impossible for us to determine the population variance. So in this situation, the variance is unknown and if it is unknown the standard error formula is given by this situation remember that if the variance is unknown we use the sample standard deviation Situ next next situation number five a finite population composed of six items whose values are two three six seven eight and ten Samples of three items are drawn at random without replacement. So in this situation, it is very easy for us to identify if the variance is known or unknown. Now, if the situation is a population 
and the values and the elements of the population are given, then automatically it is considered that the population variance is known. Because here, we can solve for the population mean by simply adding all the elements of this population, which is uh, 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10, and dividing it by the total element, which is 6. So we can simply solve the population mean. And the population size is already 6. Therefore, the variance is known. And if the variance is known, the standard error formula is given here. And take note, if it is known, we use the population standard deviation. Next situation, we have a senior high school teacher claims that the average time it takes a group of students to complete the statistics exam is 50.5 minutes with a variance of 17.64 minutes. She randomly selected 47 students and found to have a mean of 54 minutes and a standard deviation of 3.9 minutes. She then used the z-distribution to find out if the group can complete the exam faster than the population. So here in the situation, it is very easy for us to identify if the variance is known or not. First, we have here the population mean, which is 50.5, and a variance, which is 17.64. We also have here the sample size of 47, which can be considered as large because it is greater than 30. And Take note that the in this situation the z distribution is used, which is for which is used for population variance when it is known. Therefore, in this situation, the population variance is known, and the standard formula, standard error of the mean, is given by this formula. 